हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी आर एट एपिसोड नंबर 85 ऑफ यूट्यूब हैंडल एट द रेट सक्सेस हाउस एंड इंटरव्यू टॉप 786 वी सीक अगेन ब्लेसिंग्स ऑफ ऑल माइटी बाय बिल्ला 786 ब्लेस्ड बिग बी एंड सो वी एक्सपेक्ट for us with your good wishes and blessings should to say and hashtag tear fear fury 7b.5 this is the chapter of tear fear for thrilling and lesson 5 so we start with the story of honey bee at the back of our house and my children were young so we were worried that it will be stinging them so i had to take the risk i put the mosquito net on my body uh, two 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 or three layers and went and hit the uh, honey bee uh, i at my maximum strength with the uh, rod that i had in my hand and immediately the honey bees so swarmed uh, towards our house and we had kept uh, smoke ready we had put um, the coal in the uh, olden type oven and lot of smoke was were coming out and honey bees cannot stand smoke so they uh, ran away and ran away for good so um, i saved my family and myself from the honey bee stinging us this are small small situation where you have to keep your balance and presence of mind similarly i was returning with my wife on my scooter from a theater play in an institute and who will imagine that after the theater play was over that the gate will remain closed somebody had made a mistake that the gate was not open and that too gate was painted in aluminum color with the neon light on it i couldn't see the gate at all it appeared that it is open road and suddenly 15 feet away i could realize i am going to hit the gate straight away and my wife having the knowledge of driving at that time while i was slowing down she jumped off the scooter and i put the scooter in second gear stop the ignition key and put the brake and with some screeching sound it stopped just inches apart from the gate we had avoided that uh, accident or injury whatever you say then in another case uh, my maruti van was not moving at all was not taking the third gear fourth gear it just stopped i was surprised what to do then i put it in the second gear and it ran and second gear means it will be drinking petrol like anything i was worried what what is the problem with the new maruti van that i had purchased and maruti showroom is 
far away at Jamshedpur, I am at Raurkela and with the second gear, if I go to Jamshedpur, engine will be too hot and it will get spoiled. So what to do? I relied on a mechanic who had tried and went underneath the car and then he told me, no problem sir, only mobile the mobile has been exhausted. That means at the time of delivery, somebody has pinched the mobile and had not put the right mobile, right quantity of mobile, and so it got exhausted and the car was not moving. That was another story. And then there was a situation we, we were in office, myself and two of my colleagues have to go to meet a lawyer. Very important case going to come up next day at the High Court. And there was incessant rain during the day. And there was water logging somewhere knee deep, somewhere uh, even higher. No car will move, nothing will move. And advertisement of Maruti Bhan said, that it can move in water, knee deep water, if you drive on first gear. Do not put your leg on the accelerator. Trust on the engine and the car. It will take you beyond the water logging. I just did that, relied on what had been told in the manual. And lo and behold, we could cross that knee-deep water logging and reach the lawyer's place and did our office job smoothly and nicely as, as per the appointed time. Then in another case, the, I was driving from Jamshedpur to Rachi and at I was at 75 kilometers per hour and my son was naughty, he was hardly five years or less than five years. He had taken out the switch from the uh, starting slot and since the car was traveling at 75 kilometers per hour and although it was an empty road, I got nervous, I immediately cooled myself and put the car in the second gear, um, uh, switched off. I cannot switch off because uh, the key is not there. I wanted to switch off with my nail. It did not work. I put the brake consistently, not too hard, and I managed to stop it after some period. and. It will be another uh, lesson to keep your cool in emergency. An emergency can come from within and from outside. Here was an emergency caused by my son, naughty son. Without his knowledge, he is a baby. He doesn't know what he is doing. Then uh, another situation was my friend was learning cycling at Jamshedpur to go, go to factory from residence. And he had learnt it and he said, I will try it today. I said, okay, I was cycling by his side. And a slope had come, quite steep slope downwards. And he started pedaling on that. I told him, I rebuked him, don't do that. You will not be able to control the cycle. And what had happened, after half a kilometer of that down the slope pedaling, he was far ahead of me at a very high speed. And a milkman was coming from the opposite side. And he had hit the middle milkman. Milkman was thrown out. His uh, milk all got spoiled. 
on the road and uh, he looked at me I said I told you you have to take care and you did not so uh, at the morning hours during the duty time he, uh, and the milkman said okay okay no problem I can understand no problem no compensation needed no compensation needed and he was taking the bent cycle back home up the slope and all other friends were coming down the slope to attend factory and they were all smiling and ridiculing him he got very upset but nevertheless he has caused it he is the reason for it therefore on certain situations when some advice is coming try to listen to it don't be foolhardy don't think you need to avoid that no don't think you are too intelligent thereby you create a problem like this what had happened to my friend thank you